What's up guys, Sally from Roman Motor Company. We are here with another very special, yet a very affordable car that I think a lot of people uh, on Bring the Trailer would, uh, would appreciate and love. So this is a 2009 E60 body style, 5.8i, low, low miles, one owner car in a very beautiful and a very rare color. I don't think I've seen any other 5.8 on Bring a Trailer or any other platforms in this particular color. Barber Red, Barber Red, Barber Rot, it's the red metallic maroonish color with a hint of purple and a hint of brown. I don't even know how to say the name, that's how rare it is. I think that should be a big plus. Extremely beautiful color. I think I've been in love with this car since we got it, especially when we did the paint correction, graphing coating, everything. It really, really looks good. We're gonna take some sun shots of this car as well. But overall, an extremely beautiful color with a beautiful interior. This is the Dakota leather. So it's got that uh, brownish, light brown interior with this uh, maroon brown red. I think it looks phenomenal. I'm gonna go over the whole car, just tell you a little bit about the options that it has, some of the imperfections and some of the work that we've done. So let's get to it. So the history on the car is a one owner car. It's got about 56,000 miles, I believe. We'll confirm the mileage again. Smog just passed recently. And also, no accidents, all dealer maintenance. So overall, when we purchased this car, it pretty much didn't need anything. The only thing we've done is our oil change, fluids, alignment, and full paint correction and graphing coating. That's why it looks as good as it does. As far as imperfections go on this vehicle, for the type of vehicle it is, it's in absolutely flawless shape. But being a used car, it's almost about 15 years old at this point, it does have some imperfections that we're gonna go over in just a little bit. All right, let's talk about the imperfections. Uh, front end looks beautiful. I don't see any major uh, scrapes, scratches, rock chips. We got one little scratch right here that's uh, kind of in the clear code. You can kind of see it, kind of not, but let's mention it. The hood looks pretty good. We got a lot of smudges today since we're doing the photography. We got a handful of rock chips. We'll try to get those in a second, but they're not very easily visible, but we should mention it. So let's go to the passenger side. Coming up to the passenger side, overall looks great. I don't see any major dents, scratches, or damage. Well, let's take a look down and see if we have missed anything. Overall, I think it looks great. All right, looking at the back bumper, I think you see a couple scratches right here on the top portion of the bumper. Not too visible. You know, it's uh, obviously the area where everyone puts their luggage and stuff, but uh, it's there. We got a little rock chip, and then we also got two decks right here, most likely backed into maybe a tow hitch or something. If you look close, you can see it right there. But typically, from the angle that you most likely will see the car from up top here, it's almost invisible. And let's take a look at the driver's side. All right, looking at the driver's side. I don't see any scratches, dents, or scrapes or anything like that on the doors or quarter panel. We do see a little small scratch on the side skirt that we get a close-up shot of right under the passenger door. And then we got a little chip right here under the passenger, or I'm sorry, under the rear driver's side door. And the scratch is also on the lower section of the driver door side skirt. Now let's take a look at the fender in the front. The fender looks straight. I don't see any imperfections on the fender, so that's good. Headlights look beautiful. I think they're in absolutely flawless shape, so that's great. Uh, emblem looks good. Intro looks great. I don't see any rock chips or anything like that. Overall, very, very clean car. All right, coming up to the inside of the vehicle, the Dakota leather interior really complements the exterior very, very well. They go very well with each other. And the multi-contour sports seats, those are in beautiful shape. They look good, they feel good. You're looking at the steering wheel uh, right here in absolutely perfect shape. There's no wear and tear. Coming up to the center console, once again, it's in absolutely beautiful shape. I don't see any abnormal wear and tear. And as we always mention, the inside of the car smells like a brand new car. There's no smoker smell, there's no odors, nothing to mention there. Door panels on both sides look beautiful. Looking at the dashboard, the center console looks great. And then we're looking at the switches here. All of them have almost no wear and tear. The only switch that I should mention that has a little bit of fading is going to be the engine start button. Looking at the shifter, once again, feels great, looks great. Uh, E-brake handle, everything looks good. Both the cup holder, let's come confirm that they both work flawlessly. It's a very common issue with these and the E90s. Taking a look at the glove box, we got the user's manual, and let's see what else we got. All the booklets, I believe we also got the original window sticker in here, if I'm not mistaken. All of them are gonna be found there. Let's go take a look at the back seat. All right, looking at the back seat, everything looks beautiful in here. I don't see any abnormal wear and tear or any wear and tear. I don't think these rear seats have been used much. The back pockets feel great. We got a couple of things right here on the passenger side rear section of the seat. 
Other than that, they look beautiful. Headliner looks brand spanking new in here. The door panels, all the wood trim, everything looks flawless. There's no cracking or anything. Let me see if we can open this guy up a little bit. There's that, the center section for the rear seat. Once again, I don't see any type of wear or tear on this section. And then looking back in here, let's see if we can open this guy. And that allows you into the trunk, and that I don't think has ever been touched before. There's that. Let's put this guy back up. Let's go take a look at the trunk. Well, try to lock. Trunk looks great. No abnormal wear and tear here, or any wear and tear once again. Everything looks good. We got a little extra carpet right here. And then underneath, we got the um, spare tire. We typically don't do a lot of trunk videos, but it's very thin dimensions. And then what I also noticed on the tool kit right here, everything is present, and we also have a nice and pretty first aid kit. You got your Rolex fuses and stuff. Uh, everything's there, and you got your fuse box diagram right there too. Let's go take a look at the engine bay now. All right, engine bay. Everything looks beautiful here as well. Obviously a very, very low mileage car. There's no leaks, there's no corrosion, there's no rust. Everything looks great. As far as maintenance goes, I think we mentioned it earlier, we just did the oil change and alignment, and obviously the full back and coating and paint collection. Uh, while we're here, we're gonna mention some of the stuff that I think stands out. So right behind the headlights, the buttons and the, or the clips and the screws, as well as all the screws holding the brackets and everything, look like a brand new car. I don't see any kind of wear and tear on it, I don't see any corrosion. Obviously being a very, very low mileage California car, this shows signs of it being in extremely good shape. So I think that's something to be mentioned. All right, that covers most of what we can tell you about this vehicle as far as its history goes, as far as maintenance goes. It is going to be no reserve on bringing a trailer, hopefully going live in the next few days and um, hopefully finds a great home in California or out of state. Either way, we're gonna ship it nationwide. And I'm sure you guys know, we get pretty uh, good pricing on the shipping as well. So I'll be in the comment section, active with any questions you guys have. I will also be posting these videos as well as other walk around and driving videos on YouTube. Stay tuned for this uh, car to be live. That will be it for now. Thank you guys and goodbye.